Alrighty, so we are back with another attempt at the bingo. I've added some new squares to hopefully change up the balance. We'll see if we get any of those new squares on this uh, board. So the way that this is going to work is I'm going to reveal the board and I'll have one minute to review it and then we are gonna start. This is pretty much my idea of how to do it for a race as well. Give the players a minute to adjust to the actual board itself before they get started so they can read it and uh, come up with some ideas. My plan is to only get 13 squares to see how long it takes me to get 13 squares because 13 is a majority and if you're doing a lockout bingo you need thir first to 13 will automatically win uh, or a bingo line will automatically win those are the, the two win conditions but obviously if there's nobody else playing and it's just me I can get the bingo line very easily thank you Mitch alright let's go so we got all castle two warps that's really slow uh, bad familiar kill a bat that's not too bad have fairy familiar use a non-healing item uh, Soul of Bat, Fire Bat, Echo. So this was basically uh, get the second castle, get Force of Echo. Kill a Cthulhu in both castles. Kill five Guardians. Dude, a lot of second castle stuff. Uh, Spirit Orb. Okay, so we're going to need to collect the Spirit Orb at some point. We also need to collect the Spirit Orb, Fairy Scroll, and Merman Statue. Okay. Um, kill Richter. Kill a Blade Hammer and a Gurkha. That's going to be not too difficult to keep track of. Kill one Karasumon, um in the second castle before defeating the Karasumon boss. That's a very interesting one. Uh, it's going to change our route a lot. Defeat all rocks with sword familiar. Pick up all familiars. Collect mist without soul of bat. Pick up spike breaker while having echo of bat. Uh, kill a frozen half. Access the jewel sword location. Two bosses. Sub weapons only. Defeat Beezlebub while transforming. Okay. Uh, we're just going to have to get started, I guess, in a second here. Silver ring. Hippogriff. All right. And go. Oops. So maybe one minute's not enough time. Maybe we need more. Interestingly enough. I'm trying to think. Early game, I can't kill Karasumon if I want that square. I could give up that square since I don't need all of them. I also think that square might just be a thing that nobody ever gets ever. Kill Karasumon in the second castle before defeating Karasumon boss. That's really difficult. It is very much possible by taking the other route to Castle Keep, the one through Chapel. So... And also, that does synergize with Defeat Hippogriff before defeating Karasamon, which is another square that's on the board. Because you have to defeat Hippogriff before defeating Karasamon to do the Karasamon second castle anyways. So these two go together. Um, all castle one warps is not that hard to do, so I'll keep that in mind. Uh, bosses sub weapons only? I'm probably going to have to do... Hmm... Slogger and Guybon is possible, but it's kind of annoying. I don't have a lot of hearts to begin with. Defeat Beezlebub without transforming is easy. Silver Ring while wearing Spike Breaker is easy. Ghost Familiar, kill a ghost. We have to collect all the familiars anyways. Kill at least five Cloak Knights. Pick up Holy Symbol. We need to pick up Holy Symbol any... Well, we don't have to pick up Holy Symbol anyways, but we have to pick up Merman Statue anyways. So Merman Statue and Holy Symbol is a good combo. There's a lot of good combos on the board. Uh, so we'll we'll just try and get those done as we can. Monster Vile 2. Alright. So yeah, all the items are still randomized. So I don't get to, you know, have overpowered gear and stuff like that guaranteed every time. Um, okay. Nothing worth trying to keep, and we can't keep it anyways. The question is, do we get Spirit Orb right away, or do we get it later? I think we get it right away. And then we just keep an eye out for any time we do 42, 69, or 96 damage. Barrel Circlet. I mean, whatever. Shuriken. Okay, okay. Uh, we need Cube of Zoe, obviously, Ooh, for sub weapons only. We also need to find a sub weapon. Sub weapons are randomized, so we'll see. We'll see. Neutron bomb. Okay. I should be breaking more candles to try and find sub weapons. To be honest. Flame star. Money. I am going to do some extra item checks as well. 
I normally don't do this. Karma coin. Okay. Ooh, stopwatch. I mean, that's useful, but it can't actually kill anything. Mace. Okay. What up, Fran? Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, so sub weapon boss is not happening for Sagar and Gaibon. Uh, it probably won't happen for. Probably won't happen for Doppelganger either. Oh, you gambling addicts, you. Okay. Well, we have Axe. That's something. We have Bible. Is Bible better than Axe for sub-weapon only? I mean, I think it has higher potential to do more damage, so... It's probably better. Boomerang. What up, Solar? A lot of familiar stuff. Like, we have to collect all the familiars. And that unlocks a lot of squares for us. So I gotta collect Spirit Orb. I might as well just do it now. I don't think there's a reason not to. Keep an eye open for these items. It was just a ramen and uncurse. Okay. Well, that uncurse might come in handy later because we need to use a familiar, uh, a fairy. What's it called? Fairy item. That isn't a healing item. And I'm doing 13 damage. Okay. So we're quite a ways off from doing 42. Because I can do some math to try and figure out like stat buffs and stuff to do enough damage to get to exactly 42, but. I don't want to do math right now. Alrighty. The Bible tech to get past the the fleas. Wait a mo. We wait a mo. Math is hard. I agree. Math is hard. Meth is hard. There's a lot of uh, M words out there that imply uh, difficulty, you know what I mean? I will say there's a lot more first castle options on the table, which is really, really nice. I'm happy about that. I think the Bible is just a little bit better than the ax right now for sub weapon only. No shield yet, but whatever, whatever. So I think because I can't really do Clock Tower on this board because of Karasamon, there's no reason to go to Clock Tower because we can't um, kill Karasamon yet. We're not allowed to kill Karasamon yet. I think the correct play is do everything to get Soul of Bat and then go to Castle Keep after. Soul of Bat? That's my guess. We do need to get all of the warps as well. Tribute. Morbo. You steal men's souls and make them Thank you for the three months. I hope you're doing well. Okay. I mean, all right. I have a lot of hearts. I think it's worth trying to at least kill this guy. Sub weapons only. We'll see. Because he doesn't dodge sub weapons the same way he dodges spells, if I remember correctly, so we should be okay to at least try it. Six damage. That's really bad. Yeah, we can't we can't justify it. Unfortunately. Uh-oh. 
I'm gonna fucking die to doppelganger. Jesus Christ, man. I'm actually getting this life max up. Yeah, with no stat uh, increases, the sub weapon damage is really bad. So, okay, Mormagill, that's at least a weapon that I could be using. I do have that mace as well, but. Honestly, I think we're going to use Mormagill for now. Thirty-four. Okay, our damage is looking a little bit better, closer to forty-two potentially. Let's grab Soul of Wolf. Thank you for the good luck. By the way, appreciate that. All right, let's grab this warp. We do need to grab all the warps. Is there any plan for a tournament? That's my goal, yeah. Scarlet. I think it would be fun. A fun format to try out. Uh, is it worth checking this item? Yes, of course. Very important. Alrighty. What software am I using? Uh, bingosync.com. Oh, I keep forgetting these guys absorb dark damage every time, man. You wouldn't expect it, but they do. They're stone roses. You think they would absorb stone damage instead of freaking dark damage? For whatever reason. I mean, one of the reasons I've been very much inspired to do more uh, Soten Bingo stuff is because of the Elden Ring Bingo stuff. Their bingo leagues they've had uh, twice now, three times now. I don't know how many times they've, how many bingo leagues they've had, but they've had a few, at the very least. And it's incredibly entertaining. The lockout bingo formats are very, very entertaining, uh, race wise. One of these days I'll get somebody to race this with me, so that way we can have a better understanding of like why it's a really good race format. But until then, we just have to deal with me doing testing solo. Yeah, they're about to start season three, exactly. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, shout outs to Domo. And his bingo league. Very entertaining. Monster Vile. Okay. Alrighty. Unfortunately, we can't really do a lot of early game stuff. I mean, I can kill the hammer and I can kill the blade, which just leaves the Gurkha for that square. The kill blade, hammer, and Gurkha. Okay, well. What a jerk. And then once we have flight, we can then collect all the familiars and do familiar stuff. I am going to grab this shortcut. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I always think it's worth grabbing, especially in this format. When we don't know the routes we're going to be taking, that shortcut can save a lot of time. How much damage are we doing? Nine? Yeah, there's no way. 
Unfortunately, this is not a sub weapons only boss. Yeah, I'm trying to at least get people to utilize as much of the underutilized parts of this game as possible with this bingo. Um, I don't think all the squares are perfect yet by any means, which is why I want to do a bunch of testing. Oh my god, what a save. I almost fell all the way down. But we're getting there. I mean, this is going to require testing. I don't plan on running a tournament until at least like October or uh, August is what I meant to say. Usually I start the preliminary stuff around August. I just want to kill this guy. Alrighty. Okay, there's hammer. There's Blade. All right, so now we just need Gurkha. Well, let's warp back to Outer Wall. You steal men's souls. Do I need this shortcut for any reason? I might, so I'm gonna open this. I could see a world where I use this shortcut. What up, Cursed? Thank you for the two months. It's on the warp cycle, so I'll just do it. It's 10 seconds. So now... We get Soul of Bat. Oh, but... That does lock me out of... Collect... Um, power of Mist without Soul of Bat. Right? Oh, that's actually really rough. If I could just give up that square. To prioritize getting Soul of Bat. Because otherwise, I'd have to give up a different square. That's a tough one. But we have a hammer, so we can um, get stoned for the fairy. Probably not worth killing these guys, to be honest. Okay. This is also making progress towards... Um, collect spirit, orb, fairy scroll, and merman statue. Which is right here. Let's go to the shop real quick. See what's in here. I don't have any sellables. I have 800 bucks, though. Um, mana prisms for 200 might be the play, unless there's something else worth buying. Oh, a shield could be nice. Dark shield's nice. Uh, let's get dark shield, two mana prisms. Farewell for now. I think I switched to the morning star for now. Now we can shield dash. You'll get the relics from sitting in chairs. I mean, that's funny. I don't know if that's easy to implement. In fact, I imagine it's probably very difficult to implement. But it is a funny idea, Cursed. Lesser Demon might have been viable sub-weapons only. If I had the dagger sub-weapons, actually. I think I'm ready to start killing some bosses sub-weapons only if I get the daggers. So I need to start looking for them. 
Like, Karasamon, I can definitely do sub weapons only very easily. It's very time consuming, though. Alrighty. So we're basically giving up Collect Power of Mist with Soul of Bat right now. Or sorry, without Soul of Bat. Just because of how restrictive that is for this board specifically. Tribute. You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have made a save split before collecting Soul of Bat. So that way I can have it as a viable option after, um, later. In a race scenario, that's probably the, co the correct play. If you're gonna lock yourself out of a square, make a save split uh, before you lock yourself. That way, if it comes down to a race for just that square, you have the save split so you can get it before the other guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. What up, Dave? Thank you for the sub. I do like the uh, the thought processes that I'm going through for this stuff. Did I not collect the fairy card? Oh my god. Shit. I have to go back for that. I'm throwing. I can't believe I'm throwing, guys. Alrighty. Uh, was that a Holy Water as well? I should grab that for sub-weapons only. Holy Water might be enough to... I mean, it'll solo Aquamadon for sure. Uh, what other boss can I solo with Holy Water? Honestly, I might as well grab this. Heart Max Up as well, since I'm doing sub-weapons only. I don't want to spoil, but you're probably behind now. True, actually. That's actually so true. Scylla might be tough. Oh, it's daggers. Okay, never mind. Daggers is also vi viable for sub-weapon only. Yeah, Scylla could definitely be done daggers only. Holy Water might have been tough. I could foresee that being an issue. Okay. So I need to grab Fire of Bat for this one. So let's grab Fire of Bat, and then I think we either we can either do Caverns or we can do um All Rocks into Chapel. Maybe might be the play. We could also grab gravity boots just for movement. Can I kill all rocks? Well, technically, I mean, if the sword familiar does damage, that does ruin sub weapons only, anyways, because I need to use the sword familiar for all rocks. Um. Do I backtrack all the way just to get gravity boots? This is a tough call. There's a lot of weird routing things that I don't know what to do first. Uh, I think I'm just going to get gravity boots. Because this is a, a seed that will probably benefit from having them. Yeah, one of the squares is using Zorlo to kill Aurox. That's that's the joke. That's the joke. I think I'll open the shortcut uh, or open the part to go to the caverns, but I won't go into the caverns quite yet. Well, actually, maybe going to the caverns is the correct play. Is there anything really stopping me from doing anything in the caverns right now? Not really. I need to get the warp anyways. I do need to pick up Holy Symbol. I need to pick up a uh, Merman statue. And I don't really need gravity boots for all this stuff, so I can just go there immediately. 
I need to get Gold Ring as well. Yeah, and then I can warp back to Arox's quarters at a later time. I think that's the correct play right now. I might be throwing because I do need the other familiars as well. But I mean, I can get demon card while I'm down here. I need the bat to kill a bat, uh, which I can get s the bat familiar and then go back to castle entrance for the jewel sword location. Ooh, better shield. Let's pick that up. Dude, it's so tough to route this kind of stuff. Genuinely. Can I kill you with some of his only? Uh-oh. This might be a problem. Okay. Well, I think we give up on sub-weapons only. It was close, but damn. Some weapons only is genuinely a annoying ass option. Mm. I'd like some big hearts, please. And now I am low on hearts for Scylla. Because that's the other thing that's awkward is like if you use your hearts in a bad spot, you just don't have enough hearts for for other stuff. Um, okay. Grab those big hearts. So I think the plan is I'm going to grab Merman statue so I can grab a, a square real quick. Another big heart. Nice. And then on the way back, we need to grab Holy Symbol, which we can do that. And then we can kill Scylla uh, daggers only. Ooh, a library card. Nice, nice. I could do jewel sword location right now, even. And that might be more efficient now that I'm thinking about it. That is right here. Done. Get my MP to refill a little bit too while I grab these hearts. That should be enough. Have we done 42 damage, by the way, at any point? I haven't been paying attention, to be honest with you guys. 41. So close. Is there a way to increase my damage by one? 960. 47. 47 might be the play, and then just find an enemy with some defense. And we'll be able to do 42 with that. 47, right? Yeah. I don't have damage that does 69. I have 60. 65, okay. okay. I mean, not having gravity boots here is annoying. Mm. 
Um, yeah, I'll, I'll press the switch. 45, close. Forty six, forty three, very close. Very close to forty two. We just need to find an enemy with a little bit more defense. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm getting ahead of myself. I have to do this later. I actually need to go... Yeah, we need to grab um, Holy Symbol first. I think we take the Mines Warp to Aurox's quarters after. How much damage am I doing with the Wing Smash? I can't even see. I feel like the damage square is a little convoluted. Yeah, it is a little convoluted. We haven't had it before, so I haven't had a chance to test it until now. And I, I am inclined to agree that it might be a little too convoluted. The goal was to get people to go out of their way to grab Spirit Orb. Ooh, Medusa Shield drop. That's crazy. Um, And in that way, it's like, I did go out of my way to grab it. But... And I kind of wanted the idea to be that, like, you know, you try and calculate your damage on specific enemies. But I'm starting to think that maybe that's uh, not going to work. How much damage is this? Is there weak to fire, right? 55? Yeah. Well, I hit him with a shield, so I can't do Scylla. Sub weapons only now. That's annoying. Another diamond's cool. So this was a waste of time. Heal? No, thank you. I think you're worried about the wrong person healing. Alrighty, well, now things are looking a little awkward. Can I kill Cerberus? Sub weapons only. Lower int, really? That's annoying. I think that's possible. I will grab this because there's no reason not to. Oops. Just a little bit higher defense. So why not? Okay. We need to grab the warp down here anyway. So let's grab the warp. We'll kill Cerberus. I'll try and do it sub weapons only. Uh, if I reset, I would lose a ton of time because I would have to go back to my last save. I can't reset the boss fight unless I 
like physically reset the game and go back to a previous save. And that require that would require me to save all over the place. Damn it. I don't know if I'm doing enough damage here. Oh, I am. Okay. That's one boss sub weapons only at least. Get that done. I haven't had the opportunity to get stoned yet with the fairy. We do have demon card. I should just summon the fairy just in case. Where is the fairy? Is that 68 damage? I need to see. 64? That's funny. Okay. We go all Rox's quarters here. What up, Andreas? How am I doing? I'm doing all right. A little tired, but hanging in there. I think I'm going to pick up gravity boots because the longer I go without it, the slower I am in general. So I should just grab it. So let's just grab it real quick. We need to get Echo of Bat before getting Spike Breaker. I do have that library card. So maybe we get Silver Ring and then library card after. What up, that clay guy? Yeah, I think the correct play is we kill... Um, did I do 42? Because... Let me just try and see if I can get this done. Because I'm at 45. Do I do 42 damage with any of these yet? 43 damage with the 41 damage. Awkward. 65. Yeah. The thief. So that's minus four. Which, 47 minus 4 is not 42, right? It's 43. Yeah. Dude, I just can't do the 42 damage. It's so annoying. You don't have any defense? Really? No defense on the hammer? Or blade? I'm learning much. I'm learning much. Whatever. I feel like there's got to be an enemy that has exactly one defense. Because if I found that enemy, I'd be golden. 107. 44. Forty. Mm. Annoying. Forty-three. Oh, Sixty damage. Thirty-five. I can't even tell how much damage I'm doing with the Wing Smash there. Which is fun. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm starting to think that the, the damage square is just really annoying and not worth keeping. Because I've had Spirit Orb this whole time, and I just have never had a chance to get the exact number. And focusing on it for this long has made me want to explode. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. Ooh, I need that. There we go. Increase my damage by a shit ton. Eternal. We do need to get Echo, so let's go do that. Okay, we have Echo of Bat now. I do have to switch back to Fairy Card. Well, actually, I want to get stoned, so I can't put on the mirror curious, funny enough. What up, Swarm? It'd be so much easier to get stoned if I was able to go to the clock tower, but this route really doesn't want me to go clock tower. Yo, Kafu, thank you so much for the gifted sup. 61, okay. I couldn't tell if that was 69 or not. Yeah, I'm starting to think the damage number square. I'm, I'm, I've, con I've convinced myself that it's very stupid and should be get, uh, should be gone. Okay. Uh, we can do silver ring just fine here, and we should. Wait, I don't have any potions. Shit. I guess I gotta use my mana prism. That's fine. I'm not gonna do the spell thing right now. Now we can go kill... Uh, uh, Dingus. Uh, maybe with holy water we can do sub weapons only. I'll try it. Fly. There we go. That's two bosses, sub weapons only, then. Not too bad. We do have to get Bat Familiar at some point. And, I mean, we're about to get Ghost Familiar. So we're about to have all the Familiars at some, uh, pretty soon, actually. Thank you for the good luck. This should be all First Castle Warps, correct? I believe that's 
One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Also, I forgot to do, uh, where are you? Hippogriff before killing Crossman. Oh, I do, I do not know Portuguese, so I did not know what that meant. In general, uh, I, I prefer to keep chat English only because it's the only language I know. So that way I can moderate it appropriately. But thank you regardless. Magic is low. I don't think I should use a mana prism just now. I can just refill my magic instead. Fenor is nice. I'll take that. Uh, I can go kill Richter right now. I should, actually. I don't think there's a reason not to. Put on the Fenor, save the game, kill Richter. Yeah. We're still, we still need to kill Gurkha. There's one in castle entrance right next to... Jewel Sword location, so we can do those two together. Sixty nine damage, we did it. Easy. Magnificent, but now feel my unbridled wrath. Whatever. There we go. Easy money. Nice. Oh, uh, we have to kill Cthulhu in both castles. We need to go to the Forbidden Route anyways for the ghost familiar to kill a ghost. So... Oh, that's actually the play, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Let's go to... Castle Entrance. I still need to get stoned, man. Oh, I don't have the bat familiar with me though. It's fine. I'll have to do kill bat in bat familiar with bat familiar some other time. There's jewel sword location done. If I had bat familiar, I could go for a bingo here, but. Yeah. Instead, we have to settle for this. Boom. Alrighty. Uh, is there anything else I need to do? Honestly, not really. Uh, relics. I need ghost card. Refill our magic. Let's go forbidden route to quickly kill a ghost and the um, Cthulhu. It's Cthulhu number one.
Oh, there's the ghosts. Ghost kill a ghost. Uh, I guess we just leave this way, then go back to entrance, grab Bat Familiar. After grabbing Bat Familiar, we warp and do second castle, maybe? And then we get a bat in the second castle. We still have that library card in our back pocket. I need to do Spike Breaker as well. This is the wrong one. Uh, sure, I'll get Stopwatch. I don't really need sub weapons anymore. So a Stopwatch is actually kind of useful for general stuff. How many squares am I at, by the way? Can someone do the math? Because my goal was to get to 13, but I'm kind of just doing as many as I can as quickly as I can. So that's all familiars. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Would it have been better to go to Castle Entrance to warp? Like backtrack to Castle Entrance and then warp to get to Spike Breaker? The answer is yes. That would have been a better route. Instead I'm going like the super long way. When you're doing lockout bingo, you don't always win by getting a line. In the format, if I do make this a tournament, would be lockout. Immediately after this, I am deleting the the sixty the the, the do damage one with spirit orb. I don't think that one's very good. If I want to do something interesting with spirit orb, I would do something else. Oh, you know what I fucked up? I should have grabbed holy glasses when I did this. Yeah, I fucked up. If I planned on continuing this, I would have grabbed holy glasses for sure. You know what I can actually do, funny enough? So I can save split this, because I don't need the spike breaker for anything else. Just kidding, I need it for silver ring, which I actually got, ooh, I didn't even read that. The silver ring while wearing spike breaker. So I gave up that square earlier as well. And that's a oopsies by me. I'd have to keep that in mind for some potential issues as well. Is the things that lock you out of other things. I might have to minimize a couple of those. Because we've had a couple of things that locked you. Like Power of Mist, you could lock yourself out of. Both Karasimon squares, you could lock yourself out of. So, I don't know. That's 13 squares, so that would be a majority, which would be a win. I did it in 52 minutes. I purposefully, uh, I was halfway done with this square. I purposefully gave up essentially this square and this square. I was halfway done with, uh, not halfway done, but I had the potential to do this square, but I could have locked myself out of it. Um, we never killed the five cloak knights. We could have done that in the clock tower, but doing clock tower just felt very um, bad because of the Karasamon stuff. So, I mean, I could have done this in first castle. 
So this was a majority win without ever going to the second castle. So with the potential to do like a couple of extra squares as well, without and this one as well, we never had a chance to do, but I could have done that at any point. This one I could have done at any point. So having more first castle squares in general, I think is really good. And I'm happy that that's the case. Yeah, overall, I'm very happy with how this went. Um, I think I might do another one, actually. So I'm going to set that up right now. But if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for, for watching me do these test runs. I can't wait to start doing races with this. Uh, leave a comment for the algorithm, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And tune in for the next one with a new randomized uh, bingo board.